In DeFi's latest update, version 0.6.9, to streamline your experience in even more scenarios, we're excited to introduce new enhancements on workflow. The first thing is we now enables publishing workflow as tools. So now your agents can invoke workflow as their tools automatically, or you can put a workflow in a workflow in a workflow. The second thing is their new iteration nodes, and you can use it for more flexible multi-step generations. Third is a parameter extractor node. You can use it to extract structured parameters from unstructured information like natural language. It enables you to have a more natural tool invocation experience within workflows. And the final thing is we enhance capability of various nodes like variable aggregators. It was previously called variable assigners. And later on, I will introduce these capabilities by a use case. I will show you how to create a automatic email replier using these nodes. So here is a workflow that automates your email reply. It starts with your email and also the maximum number of emails you want to retrieve from your inbox. Then it uses a Gmail API to retrieve a number of emails from your inbox. And it will later on use this iteration nodes to process these emails one by one. So each of them will have a um, a different style of reply. And within the iteration, it gets the body of the message first using Gmail API. And then it will use several code, um, code nodes to extract relevant information, for example, the email body, the metadata, like the recipient email, sender email, subject, and, and it will output them in an array. And then it will classify the question based on the content of the email. It will direct it to different um, LLMs. For example, if the email is about some technical questions, it will direct it to this one. If its content is unrelated to technical questions, it will direct it to a different LLM with different prompts. So it will reply differently in different ways. And if there are other questions, it will direct reply you with this sentence. Sorry, I cannot answer that and I can't help you with that. After this, we'll use a variable aggregator, our new enhanced nodes, to, to combine all these different branches to one place so we can manage these branches easier. After encoding the email in base 6 format and combine all the relevant information, including the recipient email, sender's email, and also email body in one template, this workflow will continue to use the Gmail API and compose the draft of the reply. It doesn't send the email right away, so you can check the content of the email in your draft and modify it as your needs. These nodes over here will show you what the LM decides to reply in this debugging preview window, and the message will show up here. Let's try this workflow for my email and set the maximum number of emails you want to retrieve to one, um, just to better demonstrate this workflow. And of course, this workflow will take much longer if you try to retrieve, say, 100 or 200 emails in one time. So after you run the workflow, you will see a AI-generated email in your drafts.